On this episode, I'll be unboxing Light and Magic by James Newton Howard. Let's cue the music. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. For those of you that follow this show as they drop, uh, my apologies. It's been a long time since I've done an unboxing episode, and I've been a little bit busy uh, to do uh, regular episodes because I'm off doing this, uh, producing this documentary about the show Lost. And for those of you in the know, um, some news broke a little while back, and um, we've shifted gears. And so I've been a little bit... Uh, a little bit swamped with things. Also, it's been a while since I've gotten a record. I think the last one I got was the Waxwork Rob Zombie Presents White Zombie. Right. And a uh, um, little bit on that. Uh, uh, if you read my review on Instagram, where you can read all my reviews uh, along with detailed pics, um, it, it, didn't, it didn't go as great as I wanted to. And I just wanted to let Waxwork know it's not anything... That they did um it's it's uh it's a beautifully packaged vinyl and i understand that the source material is a little bit older and so you're going to get stuff like sound effects and things like that in it um but i just didn't know that was going to happen so i felt a little blindsided but that's okay uh today we are talking about light and magic um from uh from mondo um and i gotta be honest dude i'm so so psyched about this because I'm a huge James Newton Howard fan, like huge. And it's very rare to get James Newton Howard on vinyl. Um, he has some stuff from the, you know, from his early works in the eighties and nineties. Um, and there's a couple of things here and there, but for some reason, there's not a lot of James Newton Howard vinyl. You would think that like with like the popularity of the hunger games that we'd get more score albums from that. But I think there's only one of them and it might be a picture disc. Um, nothing really floating my boat there. Uh, but maybe with the new Hunger Games coming out, we'll get more James Newton Howard. Uh, for years, I've uh, said that James Newton Howard is my second favorite composer of all time. Uh, I just absolutely adore his music. And so anytime they put his music on vinyl, I tend to snatch it up. And, and this is no different. Um, now, the series Light and Magic is terrific. It's terrific. If you haven't seen it, go over to Disney Plus, check it out. If you want to hear my thoughts on the series, uh, we covered all six episodes on my other podcast, Live Action Star Wars. Uh, so check it out. And speaking of Star Wars podcasts, check out Talking Bay 94 with Brandon, who wrote the uh, the liner notes for um, this set right here. And um, he, uh, I met him at DesignerCon. Uh, and he's like one of the nicest guys. So go check out Talking Bay 94 and look for uh, uh, Brandon's liner notes in here. And I believe you can follow him pretty much anywhere at actually Brandon. So when it comes to, I'm going to open this up. So when it comes to James Newton Howard, like if you go to Verez Sarabond, you can get the, um, the Sixth Sense, which is an amazing score. Um, it's the soundtrack album. It's a pretty basic soundtrack album. If you head over to Waxwork Records, you can get um, his score to Unbreakable, which I absolutely love. Um, that's a two-disc set. I have that. And uh, I got that before I started doing uh, the unboxing videos. But um, no one's really done Signs, The Village, and Lady in the Water, which are absolutely amazing scores and i don't know what we have to do to get those scores available on vinyl but holy crap like uh, say what you will about those m night movies i enjoy them for the most part um i think the happening is where it kind of dropped off uh but the score is amazing the score is really good and i feel like the scores to signs um and the village are so iconic that like any label could release those. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping that this is something that um, that Mondo picks up on. Hopefully they get a, a good relationship with James Newton Howard because I'd absolutely love to see more. I've been listening to the Hunger Games score uh, digitally and it, they're, they're good. 
it's got the best of James Newton Howard. It's got the the best qualities from his thrillers uh, and some great action stuff. Um, I love the dude. I love the dude for his strings and piano. Um, I think The Interpreter is one of my favorite scores from him. I'm going to be talking a lot about him because the opportunity to get a James Newton Howard score doesn't come up a lot. So, um, so I'm going to, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting into this now. Light magic is a six part series, um, on Disney plus highly recommended. Um, it's about the, the formation of ILM and the history of ILM, um, which is directed by Lawrence Kasdan. And again, Lawrence Kasdan has a relationship with James Newton Howard and, um, and like Dreamcatcher would be great to have on vinyl. Um, uh, Grand Canyon would be great to have on vinyl. Like, dude, like I love James Newton Howard. Uh, but the thing is, the series um, had additional composers, I believe. Um, and uh, I don't know if any of those tracks are in here. It sounds like they just took the tracks from James Newton Howard. I would love to see Willow. I know Willow kind of didn't work at Disney+. Plus, um, and James Newton Howard again did the score. But if for some reason... If for some reason there's any fans of Willow out there, um, let Disney Music Emporium or let Mondo know that we want more James Newton Howard. So here is the set, or it's not even a set, it's just one LP. So I'm assuming it just says music by James Newton Howard. I'm not sure if it has addition, it does have additional music. Uh, so looking at the back, um, holy cow, this thing got chunked up. All right, so here's the here's the front. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna get this out of the plastic so we don't get the glare, and we're gonna get right into it. But man, this this one got this one got chunked up on the top. Uh, I know a friend of mine got his, I believe he got his ET already, which my ET is in the mail now, so we're looking at a ET. And uh, Godzilla versus King Ghidorah um, unboxings next. So those will be the next ones popping up. Uh, those are both from Mondo. And it looks like this record kind of got chewed up on the top. A little bit bummed about that. But we'll take a look at that. Let's take a look. I'm not, again, I'm not like a purist. I don't keep these in plastic or vinyl or, or whatever, PVC, any sort of crazy protective um coating so i'm not i'm not too too precious about the quality of stuff but this one's pretty chunked up so here is the cover with the ob strip i'm gonna actually take the ob strip off and we're gonna take a look at the ob strip and see available now for mondo solo a star wars story rogue one a star wars story and mandalorian season one um which i have two of those I don't have the Rogue One. Uh, someone said they were going to give it to me, and then they lost it. So I still uh, don't want to purchase it. Here is the the barcode um, for those of you that want to add this to your Discogs. And here is the Obi Strip, Light Magic. I like that. I like that font. The sort of um, what do you call that? It's a sans serif font. I'm not sure exactly which font, but I very much enjoy it. So here are your notes right there. Music by James Newton Howard. Liner notes by Brandon Wayne Nerdy from Talking Bay 94. Sorry, Brandon. I just know you like is actually Brandon because that's what it says on your uh, thing. Uh, 140 gram vinyl. And this is the art of soundtracks. Um, I'm not really sure what the art of soundtracks is. Um, do I have other things that say the artist soundtracks? I do not know, but there, I don't believe there's an artist on this. Um, they used photos from the documentary and this is my favorite one, my favorite photo because it's got the blockade runner, the Tanta V four and that drawing of the Millennium Falcon. Um, it's such a great cover, uh, the black and white. And it does say music by James Newton Howard on it. On the back, it says, oh boy, I'm going to get every single one of these names wrong. Additional music by Xander uh, Radzinski, Steve Durkee, Michael Dean Parsons, and Tobin Charles Pugash. 
Um, so there you go. And also, this has a thing that says uh, visit DisneyMusicEmporium.com. So this will prob this is a Mondo exclusive. It has sort of a um, a black and white uh, um, uh, hyperspace effect on it. So we'll show you that. Let me let me let me look at this. Um, yeah, the the top of this just got uh, completely chunked up. Um, and that was the cellophane. The cellophane on this was nice and clear so this happened prior to cellophane what do they what do they call that a, a, a scene split a seam split is that what that is but yeah it's like it's it's opened up so that's a bit of a bummer uh here's the back um this is them in the volume working on the mandalorian i'm assuming um and here are here's your track list right there let me try to get that there you go um again uh, check out this documentary, guys. Uh, I don't know what the gatefold is. Oh, it's great. Speaking of E.T., the gang's all here. You got Dennis Murin, uh, uh, Steven Spielberg, Kathleen Kennedy. I'm not sure who these guys are. None of those are Ken Ralston, I believe. But uh, the little Elliot doll. Like, this is a great image. Let me get that in there for you. And there's a little tiny Elliot in the corner there. But, yeah, that's the... That's the image on the inside. So great packaging. I love the packaging. Um, let's take a look at the liner notes that Brandon did here. And here again, you have Dennis Muren with the TIE bomber and the TIE fighters on the uh, from the Death Star Trench run. And again, more information. What do we got on here? Uh, yeah, so we have more, um, we have the track list again, and then more information on uh, the production of the record. And Brandon, Brandon wrote a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, I need to check uh, Talking Bay 94. Brandon, if you've talked to James Newton Howard, um, I'd like to listen to that episode. If you haven't talked to him, hopefully being part of this uh, release um, allows you to uh, get your foot in the door because I absolutely love James Noon Howard. So let's take a look at the vinyl. Again, it's a black and white sort of hyperspace swirl. And uh, this is side A. My swirl isn't as crazy as the pictures, but I kind of like it. Uh, the solo, um, a Star Wars story from Mondo, um, also has like a hyperspace swirl similar to this and then side B it's pretty cool um, I dig it a lot I like that it's black and white uh, it, it looks less starry than the solo one and I think it fits the overall aesthetic of the record um, a lot more than the solo one does even the solo I think it was like a bluish color like a blue hyperspace color which kind of matched that aesthetic but there you go light and magic um please anybody listening to this i don't know who you are if you're in the in the business of uh pressing records let's get more james newton howard out there i don't know with the new movie coming out if a uh, if a uh, uh, five uh five disc box set or something of the hunger games um i feel like that could probably sell um but uh any any james newton howard music would be terrific um i'm looking at the fugitive i don't think the interpreter would ever happen but Perez, if you're if you you've got it there and you have that new cd or the new vinyl club um i i, I know it's no one's gonna buy the interpreter um except for me but i mean maybe that's what the vinyl club is like let's get like i don't know a hundred <laughs> make a hundred of them those will sell i don't know if that's very lucrative but uh i want more james newton howard but i mean i like science I feel like Signs and The Village are have iconic scores and, and would sell um, from any distributor. Um, but if there's anything, like a water world would be terrific. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like there's some people out there where at the time where Waterworld came out and the kids who loved Waterworld are now in the position of, of putting this kind of stuff out. Anyway, 
All I'm saying is, I want more James Newton Howard on vinyl. I will buy every single score than James Newton Howard does, including Green Lantern. I'm a big Green Lantern fan. I don't know if you guys know this. Uh, you could probably see the Green Lantern statue back there, but I mean, maybe for Emerald City Comic Con, you do a run of uh, 2,814 uh, limited edition Green Lantern vinyl uh, of James Newton Howard. Uh, because it's Sector 2814 is where Hal Jordan uh, uh, resides. It's his precinct. Um, it's really nerdy. It's really nerdy. But I would absolutely love a Green Lantern record from anybody. Uh, let's make it happen. Um, please. <laughs> please. If you're not going to, speaking of not lucrative, if you don't do a Green Lantern, but just give us anything. Give us any James Newton Howard because he's terrific. Uh, you're terrific for watching. Uh, watch tomorrow um, for uh, a full review of the music. Um, the music's great. It, it's documentary music, so it's. I, I don't think it's a full orchestra. I think some of it might be samples or synths or electronic. Um, but and it's not. I don't think they usually compose to screen. I could be wrong, but um, it's James Newton Howard. I love that dude. I can't wait to pop this on, listen to it, and give you a full review tomorrow on my YouTube community and on my uh, my Instagram and Twitter. So look forward to that. Uh, thanks for putting this out. Good job, Brandon, Mo, everybody at, um, at uh, Mondo. Still love you guys, um, uh, everyone working there. Um, but uh, yeah, until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.